Hi, this is Jeff Van West for Aviation Consumer and AvWeb. And in order for the iPad to make its full transformation to being a portable MFD, there are two more things it needs. One's data link weather and another's traffic. Today we're going to look at data link weather and the two options that are out there, ADSB weather or XM weather using Baron Mobile Link. XM Weather is the industry standard for installed avionics, and Garmin Portables use XM Weather through a built-in interface, but other portables use a USB or Bluetooth connection to a receiver built by Baron Services. Unfortunately, this receiver won't connect to an iPad. So what Baron actually did was they took their standard box for receiving XM radio, and then they added to it a separate box, which was the mobile link with the Wi-Fi antenna. The result is kind of a rat's nest of cables because you have to have the two cables for the XM and the GPS for signal. Then you need the separate box for the Wi-Fi transmitter. Then you need to connect the two of them. Luckily, the XM box is powered off of the Wi-Fi box, so there's only one jack you need to plug into the airplane power supply. You can also stash both boxes and most of the cables out of sight as the connection to the iPad is wireless. The SkyRadar solution is a lot cleaner, on the other hand, with just one antenna for Wi-Fi and a little one for ADS-B. There is an external antenna option that you can mount in the back of the airplane for better ADS-B reception. In addition to those two antennas, there are two cables, one for power and one for the GPS. No matter which hardware you use, the iPad connects via Wi-Fi, just as if you were sitting in a coffee shop. One thing to remember if you're looking for data link weather for your iPad is the hardware is only half the solution. The other side is how the app displays that information. Unfortunately, there's no app yet that offers both weather options, although this will change this year. So we looked at XM on ForeFlight and ADSB weather on WingX. ForeFlight displays the weather via XM radio on moving maps or airport info pages, just like the weather it can download from the internet at the FBO. When you call up detailed weather, ForeFlight shows you the data source and the age, so there's no confusion. NextRed Radar can be layered over any map page. The timestamp shows in the upper right. XM downlinks weather for the entire US and, if you pay for it, much of Canada, along with Canadian METARs. You can also layer airmets and SIGMETs on the map, with details available at a tap. Satellite views can replace radar, and TFRs can replace airmets. Some XM data, like current icing potential, isn't available yet, but should come soon. Details of the XM status are also available with just a couple taps. Lastly, if you try and display something on the map that isn't downloaded or is out of date, ForeFlight lets you know. Speaking of data not being available, one of the big advantages of XM over ADS-B is that ADS-B is usually only available once you're in the air. For much of the country, you don't need to get much higher than pattern altitude, but in the Mountain West, you might need to be up near the flight levels. There's also no ADS-B weather in Canada, but ADS-B is available in parts of Alaska, where XM is not. WingX currently allows graphical layering of ADS-B METARs, NEXRAD, and TFRs on moving maps. Unlike XM, ADSB radar is received in strips, so WingX shows a dimmed map wherever the strips haven't yet been received. ADSB radar is also only broadcast in high res for the area local to your aircraft and low res for the rest of the US. WingX currently only supports the local high res DEXRAD. In fact, all ADSB weather is broadcast for a limited radius around your aircraft. See AIM Chapter 7111 for details. Like ForeFlight, WingX displays ADSB weather where it could otherwise show internet weather, clearly indicating which source is in use. WingX only shows PIREPs for the airport page for now. ForeFlight shows them on the map, but it has the advantage of showing NOTAMs for airports, which XM does not. There are other advantages to one system over the other. XM shows probable freezing levels at the surface, where ADSB on Wing X does not. The SkyRadar ADSB system allows you to connect to multiple devices and passes GPS position to the iPad. Barron's Mobile Link does not. And then there's price. Barron's Mobile Link for XM is $12.24 if you don't already own the receiver, plus a monthly XM subscription. The SkyRadar receiver is only $9.50, and the data is prepaid by your tax dollars. 
The other thing to remember is that we've only looked at one ADS-B option. There are a couple others on the market and we expect several more to come out in 2012. So if you're leaning towards the ADS-B solution, you might want to wait a little bit and see what appears in the coming year. If you're looking for XM weather, more apps should be showing XM weather in the coming year as well, with more and more of the XM options being available on the iPad. I'm Jeff Van West for Aviation Consumer and AvWeb. Thanks for watching.